Hey, welcome to the Chanticleer Acres. I'm Harvey, I'm glad you guys are here. There's a lot of interesting people doing a lot of interesting things that they always do on a farm. And I'd like to show you guys some of the stuff that's happening. Come on. Hey Steven, what are you doing today? Hey Harvey, um, I'm potting up some of these cherry tomatoes. Awesome, I love cherry tomatoes. Then you start them in, what is this? This is a... So this is a heated greenhouse that we have here. And it's really a blessing because it allows us to start so much way before we'd ever be able to do outside. We're essentially using the sun for most of the heat, but we do have an uh, additional heater up there. Uh, we have some fans that regulate the humidity and the temperature uh, so it doesn't get too hot because even in the middle of winter, it can get way too hot in here and cook the plants. All right, thanks boss. See you soon. Hey Jerry, what are you up to? Hey Harvey, uh, today I'm inoculating some stumps with turkey tail sawdust spawn using the saw curve method. You know, this is Jerry, he's one of our mushroom experts. He's always teaching us. He's done over 15,000 inoculations here, am I right? At least. So, 15,000. So what, what, is, uh, what is turkey tail? What's it, what happens with turkey tail? Turkey tail is a medicinal mushroom, so it's immune system boosting as well, and it's one of the easier mushrooms to actually grow. Sounds great. All right, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know what these are? You know where they come from? Yep, they come from chickens. And uh, during COVID-19, a lot of people are coming to our farm and buying eggs and vegetables. Now these guys are too young to lay eggs right now, but these are our new recruits. In six months though, they'll be laying fresh farm eggs. There's some of the babies right now. They're pretty young, they're just beginning to get their feathers. Well, we keep them in here, it's like a little nursery for them. Eventually they go out and they live with the, with the big chickens out there. And, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys came by here today. So I'm, uh, I got these strawberries from, from down in the garden and I'm planting them in the orchard up here. This is called permaculture. It's permanent agriculture. And uh, I looked around in the orchard and some wild strawberries were already growing there. So I figured we have too many strawberries. Why don't I put them up here and then they'll start spreading so I'll be able to wander around up here and get food and and uh, see pretty flowers and helps the bees too so permaculture is just a way of keeping stuff going all year round in different parts of uh, different parts of the farm water plant voila These are some of our beehives. We got some more beehives on the other side of the farm. Do you know that bees fly two miles to pollinate things? These guys are working all the time. And you know why we have an electric fence? Because we're not the only ones who like honey. The bears do too, but they don't like electric fences. So I lived here for a pretty long time and I've never put anything on to kill weeds on my my yard. But what's wrong with dandelions? I actually think they look good and it's the first food of the bees. And we got to help these bees and the bees like the yellow flowers. Sometimes this stuff just doesn't make sense to me. Jam time! Hey guys, what are you doing? Hey Harvey, we are securing our chicken runs so that animals can't dig underneath and get into our coop. How are you going to secure this? And what kind of animals are you securing it from? We're digging rodents, skunks, raccoons, weasels. Weasels? So eventually we're just trying to make it so that this is completely secure and safe for these chickens to be able to be out later or out earlier. Well, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. You got it. Peace. Oh, hey, Harvey. Hey, Mimi. What are you up to? I'm just getting these signs organized to get out in the garden. Mimi is our resident artist. She, uh, she lives on the Canadian border, but she comes down here a couple times a year and she paints all of these signs, hand-painted signs. What else do you do around this place? Uh, well, I uh, make scarecrows. She makes scarecrows. 
Uh, everybody in the farm really appreciates you making the scarecrows because they uh, do a couple different things. One, they scare the crows. We can do a lot with these. So a lot of it is a work in progress, and a lot of what we're doing is we're, we put out the different greens when they come, the different uh, signs when they come. So we're constantly moving stuff around, and the scarecrows are some of the stuff we move around. Let's go check out the other scarecrow. Of course, let's go. I love this one. Oh, thank you, Harv. He's pretty friendly. Thank you, Mimi. So yeah, so this is the this is the veggie hut. We have our plant sale. He's one of the guys that kind of sits around here, and uh, people come in and they buy plants and they buy eggs. All right. Should we look inside and see what's going on in the veggie hut today? There's always something interesting and fun happening in here. And yummy. And yummy. Wow, look at the eggs. The eggs are beautiful. They laid them this morning and they're washed, cleaned, and ready to sell. You know what I like about all the eggs here at Chanticleer Acres is they're just like all the people we know. They're all a little bit different, they're all unique, and, uh, and they're good for you. Absolutely. Come enjoy our eggs and meet our chickens. I love it. Hey, Steve. Hey, Harvey. What would you tell, tell kids or anybody who wants to get into uh, farming and growing? Start small. Start in your own backyard or start in a pot if you don't have a backyard and, and just try experimenting, put some seeds in the soil and learn from your uh, experiments. Cool. So if you want to find out more about Chanticleer Acres, check us out online.